pass it over to my beautiful friend, Laura. Yes, amazing. Well, welcome everybody. Happy Wednesday to our weekly Wednesday Rise Up. We're super excited to be here with you for another amazing call and um, for our vision. I'm just going to wait a second while it comes up. So together we rise as a global community to connect, share, and empower each other on our journey of well-being in mind, body, and soul. And our intention with this beautiful platform is to raise the collective frequency through education, inspiration, and community creating an incredible ripple throughout our individual communities and the world. And in unison with the Start Your Life movement, our vision is to ignite all people to own their lives physically and financially, and through our contributions, create freedom and a lasting legacy. And our core values that we live through in this, in this group and that we personally live by um, are health, empowerment, integrity, community, innovation, and ease. And through this, we are creating an epic experience. And I'm really excited for today's topic about radical responsibility, which Jen is going to take away because we are coming into the end of the year, the last little home stretch. And um, it's kind of a big time for everybody and there's lots going on in the world. So really excited to just chat more about that today. So awesome. And if I'm lagging, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's exactly what Laura said, you know, we are going through a massive shift. We are going through a massive upgrade and I know that we all feel this. And the one thing that really stuck with me, I was in training all weekend and then we had an incredible training last night with Peter Kelly. And the one thing that kept coming up was radical responsibility about making a decision. And that was really interesting to me because I'm like, well, we're, we make decisions every day, right? We decide to respond or not respond. That's a decision. You know, we make decisions in our everyday life. And there's so much happening in the world right now that we cannot control. And that tends to be where we focus so much on, right? Waiting, listening, learning, you know, backup plans. But then all of a sudden it's like, well, what about all the things that we can control? What about the things in our everyday life, like our mindset, our body, our temple, the people we're around, the decisions that we're making? There are so many things in our lives that we can control, and yet we tend to give away our power. And as we come up to a new year, you know, so many people are like, oh my God, you know, like I can't wait for 2021. Oh my goodness, 2020, what a year, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, why are we wishing time away? And so before we go into a really busy couple of two weeks full of lots of great memories, I'm sure, also lots of distractions, I think one of the most fundamental things for us to do right now is to take a moment and pause and share. And so I'd really love for tonight that we have a bit of a discussion. We share together. And I also have a couple of exercises to really get us into the mindset of radical responsibility because what is that anyways? Any time in our day to day that we go, well, I want to do that and I'll do it when. I'll, be, I'll take time to rest when. I'd love to do that, but. Oh, I want to make more time for this yet. We make so many freaking excuses that perpetuate our thinking. And it's almost like what we're doing is we're putting ourselves on this like teeter totter, right? And what if, if what we focus on expands, then why are, do we keep making excuses why we can't achieve the things that we really want right now? Why is it that we put all of our power into things that we cannot control and wait? I still do it, I catch myself all the time. It's almost like that mentality where on, I, re I remember a few years ago, a few of my friends would ask me what my plans were for the weekend on Monday. And I'm like, what? I don't know. I haven't even started the week off yet. That's what's been going on, right? During this pandemic, during this time of chaos and uncertainty, we keep making future plans. We keep saying, well, I'll do this when, I'll do this if, I'll lose the weight when. And it's like, no, that's not taking radical responsibility. It's actually the opposite. It's saying that you as a sovereign divine being are not worthy of making a decision right now and walking in that truth. 
It's saying that all of the desires on your heart and all your dreams are only going to be realized and actualized when the world hands us everything that we need to make it happen. It's never been like that. And I know that all of us on this call are going through a huge shift, a huge purge in all different levels, mental, spiritual, physical. And so let's change that. And I'd love if one by one, we could go around and share one thing, just one thing, a personal win that came out of 2020 for you. Laura, do you want to start? I'll start. Sure. Um, so a big win for me, there's been many actually, but um, I think the biggest one for me would be getting back dating again. Cause it's been three years since doing that. And I know in the summer, um, Jen was with me when I was like, I think I'm going to go on a dating app. It's been three years, but fuck, never done it before. I'm going to do it. <laughs> so for me, that was a huge step for me to do that. So I'm like really proud of myself for that. So good. Christy. <clears throat> can we have more than one? Well, I hope there's tons. And if there's lots of them, we can also add them to the chat, but I'd love to hear it because you're excited. <laughs> um, I made it to Crystal Executive in my business. That was huge. Nice. And for Isogenics Wise, um, I didn't see it at the time, but I think the biggest gift was me leaving New York City. And it was, I just got home from there and it was, it's, it's so different. And the energy there is so eerie, if that makes sense. And I think that was as far as like a, a life change, like physical location change. And uh, what else? I was able to do one of my girl gang evolution events before I left New York city. That was in February before COVID hit. And I'm just so grateful that this incredible company has gifted me human beings that don't judge me, that accept me. And it's only going to get better from here. So I love all of you guys. So good. Who's next? I won't even call it names. Just anyone who feels the need, just go for it. Okay, I'll go next. Uh, this year has given me some tools that I needed. Um, and basically what that is, is I've come to the realization and I was thinking about it today. Um, and we always have setbacks and sometimes they're, they're big setbacks. They, they blindside us and we like, we're down on our knees and like, basically we just got dusted. Right. So it's like, well, what are you going to do when that happens? Are you going to, you know, are, are you going to go positive or are you going to go negative? You always have that choice. And for me, I've had some super big setbacks, but you wouldn't know it by like my attitude or my smile or like things that you see, you know, some people that they would know because they know like details, but I've had some significant setbacks. So it's like, well, I had to talk to myself and I'm like, what am I going to do about it? So I'm like, okay, I got a choice here, right? So how am I going to make this negative into a positive? Because I have a considerable amount of negative energy as this thing is happening to me, right? It's like you're in a car accident. As the car accident is happening, your new car is getting crushed and you're, you're, you you got to get out of your car. You look at your car. It's not positive, right? <laughs> so you're like, how are you going to make this thing into a positive? So this year, uh, I've really been able to take a negative and I've, I've, I've been, I've usually just tripled down on myself and, and, and I wouldn't be in this chat room if that didn't happen, would I? I would not be talking to you guys right now if that, I didn't actually deliver to that to myself. Obviously I did. I'm in this chat room with you guys, which is amazing. I actually, have, I can't even believe it. Like, I can't believe that I just jumped here and, 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 and I got this massive community of like so much better than I ever imagined. I'm so lucky, but I took a blind leap of faith and I just kind of bet, took, took, took a stomach gut bet <laughs> and turned a significant negative that we could have been a negative. And obviously it's into a positive now. And it's like every day though, like I, I don't, like I'm glad we talked about like going too far ahead. It's everything's day by day, right? 
but um, that's been a big thing. I've had a bunch of really negatives this year. Um, even with 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 my other business, I've had I had to shut one of my business. I had two, and I had to shut one down, which at the time was not very fun. But the as I revolved into the next thing, it was significantly more successful. So it could have gone the other way, but I, I made the right decisions. And 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 this year I've really done that. And then we and there's been COVID and everything like that. A lot of people really hurting, um, but. I could have gone that way. I could have had everything go crappy. I could have that, but I just, I made a commitment and I just jumped um, when I had these negatives and I bet on myself and I, you know, I, I double down, triple down on yourself every, th- every time something bad happens, you know, and um, here I am talking to you guys. So obviously I've made some good decisions with that. I'll pass. So good. Beautiful. Anyone else want to share a win for 2020? I could go next. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, well, first, I'd just like to say that I know 2020, like, like from, well, pretty much from the start, a lot of people really took a negative tone on it and just, I mean, I mean it was negative for a lot of people, I'm sure, but for me, I was just really right from the beginning. I just really took it as a gift and it just really allowed me a lot of time to just get really crystal clear on a lot of things that need to change in my life. And and I don't know, like it's been like, I mean, I'm thinking now, like it's almost the end of the year and it's been like this whole year has been totally about just kind of like growing and evolving my, my plans for my future and and seeing things actually moving ahead, maybe not in the time that I would like it to or would have liked to, but but I've just come to a lot of peace and 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 just know that it has been part of a plan and part of a process that's getting there. And like to me, this is a really special year. It's just um, there's I know that there's so many good things that have happened, and there are a lot of really good things that I feel are are really coming in the future. So. Um, that is, and I guess like my other one too that I, I would say it's special for me this year is being named as an Isobody finalist. It was something that was, you know, I never really truly expected that, but uh, yeah, just like it just, it kind of reassured me that, you know, I am doing things that are, are good for me and it is it is all coming together this year. So it's, it's been a pretty special year for me. Thank you so much. That's so beautiful, June. I'll go, June. That was so beautiful. So some of you know this about me and some of you don't, but um, if you were on the outside looking in, you'd probably think that 2020 was the worst year of my life, but I see it as the best year of my life. I was domestically assaulted and it was very serious um, just before COVID. And um, it threw me into really taking a look inside and um, figuring out, you know, what I had to do to kind of look within and and heal myself. And during COVID, I um, miraculously healed my uh, milk allergy, which was my biggest win. And from then on, I continued my... um, spiritual oh my heart's racing right now sharing this I know most of you already already know this about me but it's you know to vocalize it is is still hard um sometimes um but yes I just I just feel like I've come so far this year and it's it's just been an incredible year um thank you so much guys for the comments um getting to know myself um and um, I'm just so excited to see uh, how much more growth I go through through all of um, my spiritual journey and, and meeting you guys has been an absolute blessing in my life as well. So love you so much. Of course I wanted to jump on. Um, I mean, 2020, yeah, it has been the most challenging, but yet rewarding and growing and 
like I didn't even thought that I was possible to achieve the things that I have achieved in 2020. I'm like, who is this person? Like, seriously, you think yourself and you're like, when you are in situations that you're like, I cannot do this anymore. And yet it comes this whole new year with new challenges and you're like, holy crap, yeah, I can do it. It's insane. Like, that's what was my biggest like learning from this uh, year, I like went from like a really negative space, like nothing, like nothing abusive or it was just like personal, like, you know, like just dealing with my own demons type of thing to kind of like saying, okay, we're here, we can do this, like, let's go. And I don't know, it's just, it was uh, like everything, just finding this amazing community, um, finding and setting my own boundaries and like my own, like, it's okay to say no to people. It's okay to just say like, okay, hold your horses. I need my time. Like, it's just, it's crazy when you do something for yourself, how everything else aligns. And it's just like, that's like what I said, like and how Gregor said, like it was like the most weird, but yet rewarding like year ever, right? Like like you, we could have get stuck in this negativity and be like, oh, everything sucks. And I mean, I'm not saying it didn't because a lot of people had their own struggles, but I am so happy that we're like, somehow in a safe space that we can share. And I have not heard anyone saying, well, it suck and I'm staying the way it is. Like we are all so alike and I'm like, this is what it is insane. Like, where were you guys all my life? I don't know, but I'm pretty happy that I found you guys like legitimately. And now shut up. If not, I can keep talking for like three hours. <laughs> so good. Does anyone else have anything they'd like to share? Yep. Anyone? Oh, is it? Sorry. Am I? Am I like unmuted or whatever? Okay. Good. You're okay, good. good. Sam? Okay, cool. Um, hi. <laughs> uh, yeah, just, uh, well, as everyone's been saying, like 2020 has been like a really interesting year. But um, for me, actually, like, and, and as some of you were saying, like, 2020, with all the closures and everything, like, just like, initially to kind of have like, life or like society as a whole, just kind of like grind to a stop, was actually like a real kind of not even really blessing disguise for me, but just like a blessing, because I literally felt like, um, at that point in my life that like I just I wanted everything to stop like I needed everything to stop um, there's so many things like piling up for me and everything and um, but I mean like like there was struggles with having it pause as well but I think that um, just having everything kind of slow down and I guess giving me like a bit of like a like breathing time um, yeah <laughs> the need yeah definitely the need to stop um, it gave me, yeah, it definitely gave me time for like introspection and everything. And even, um, but like also, uh, you know, I was processing and dealing through like and going through a lot of like hard things. And even, even lately, like still having my own struggles, like whether it be with like, um, well, work previously or, or family life or mainly family life, like everything was just kind of like chaotic and, and just like all over the place. But, um, now like I, I'm starting to realize like um like like so many good things have been like like coming into my life now or like turning around for me um I got a new job and that's going really well I mean I'm I still haven't passed my three months yet so I'm still all like fresh and new um try not to put too much pressure on myself but everything so far just coming like really naturally and I'm really clicking with everyone like having a great time um and also like meeting meeting some new friends and and um making new friends in, in 2020 or like finding ways to like meet and connect with people and which is like really great like 
a couple people that are from like um, my new job actually, but we had other connections before, like they went to my high school, but we never really knew each other that well. And then, you know, up until now. And so I'd say just um, having, having this time to like, yeah, connect with more people. And also like, I feel like, I, like, like there's, I've definitely had my down days where I've like struggled and gone through like a lot. And it's felt like each day is kind of like, seemed like it's rolled into the next. And sometimes, sometimes it feels like, um, I don't know where it's going or it feels like, you know, like, like just a lot of like a heavy weight on my shoulders. But now it's like, I'm starting to feel like my strength and like perseverance in all of it. Like, um, like, now, now, now I feel like slowly but surely I'm starting to see like kind of the future ahead and kind of like reap some of those, I guess, like positive benefits of like what's to come and, and having like a taste of that or also like I'm, I'm more excited for I feel like where my life is heading now and I feel like it's at a turning point for me, like where I'm at in my life and also like my age too, you know, it's my birthday this month, like I feel like everything is just is just happening so I'm really excited about all that. Anyways. <clears throat> That's all I have to share. Amazing. If anyone else wants to share, please do. I'll share mine. Um, it's so nice hearing everyone's wins. I think we need to take more time to really celebrate our small wins and victories because um, it's really powerful. We're elevating the frequency just in this group right now. And my biggest win this year was learning how to decide for myself. I, I was a perpetual people pleaser and I didn't realize how low my self-worth was. And I re didn't know, realize how little I actually knew myself and my wants and needs. And so this, this forced pause was like this beautiful illuminated light to teach me how to decide for myself. And I am so grateful for this, the gift this year. All right, I'll go. Um, for me, I guess um, my biggest win this year was really just giving myself the space to sort of explore me, um, kind of really delve into personal development, um, do some different kinds of coaching, explore things that excited me again. I was somebody who had just kind of gone with the grain and gone to work and gone home and kind of lost what really lit me up and what excited me. Um, so this year I've kind of given myself the time to explore some of those things and get excited again, um, which is great because it's given me opportunity and led to some new, um, new experiences and uh, it's got me excited about the next year and the year after that, which is something I had lost for a little while. Wow. So great, you guys. And thank you guys for sharing. Honestly, it's, it's really powerful. And, and Allie's going to share it too, Jen. She was pardon me? Oh, Allie, go for it, girl. Hi. Wait. Sorry, you know, guys. I'm in my bathtub. So I'm not going to go I'm not going to go on camera. But um, my biggest win this year is I received my undergrad diploma um, while working full time, while raising my three year old all on my own. Um, and then decided that I was going to further my education and get my bachelor's of education, which I'm doing currently. Um, and during this time, I felt stressed. I felt burnt out. I lost a couple close friends, but it's really like during this whole pandemic, it's really taught me to really just like be still in the present moment and really think about what I want and what's going to benefit me, which will obviously benefit my son. So I think my main takeaway is just working on like my own personal growth, which has been huge. And Laura, who I've known for quite some time, happens to be part of this journey with me. And I'm just, I'm so excited to be a part of this group. And I'm so excited to learn from each of you and hear your stories and just connect and just really form a sense of community with everybody. So that's my big win for this year. Wow. And if we take a second to, to notice how beautifully we can connect through wins, through love and through passion, because we've, we've been so programmed to connect through pain. We've been so programmed to connect through fear. 
we've been so programmed to have to compete who works harder, who works longer, who's more stressed. And it's something that I never quite understood, right? Yet when we can all just accept each other for who we are, knowing we've all had our struggles, we've all had difficulties and be able to come and share our, our, our passions, our wins, we're changing the dynamic as we speak. And that's the purge that we're going through as a consciousness. We're shifting, we're changing. You know, when we can actually open our heart up and say, this is what I want to do. And this is who I am. And this is what I'm choosing. Those are the people that we get to keep walking forward amongst uncertainty and chaos and claim our worth. We don't have to feel bad about feeling good anymore. We do not have to feel bad about feeling good. We do not have to shy away from naming the world. We do not have to feel greedy for wanting more wealth. It's all BS. And so the more we can celebrate and share through wins and passion and pleasure and future and vision and impact and leadership and unconditional love, we're shifting our realities. We're shifting the timelines. And it's so powerful. And so for a moment where we've all heard that one of the most difficult years of struggle and pain, and don't get me wrong, I'm sure we, I'm like hearing the Drake song right now. Like sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cried. Like that was the whole year, right? Like it was crazy. Yet if we can come out of it and go, wow, there were so many blessings. Wow, there were so many learnings. Wow, I know who I am more than ever right now. Wow, I'm not afraid to show my emotions, right? then it means that every other year and every other thing and every other problem is going to be so much easier because we've learned how to do a few things, trust ourselves, trust the people around us and come to everything with love. And so for a moment, when you think about all these wins, because I know all of us are very aware, I want you to take a moment. And if you have a pen and paper, write them down. And I want you to think about a few things. The first things that come to your mind that people you see Things that you do, places that you are, that when you leave, you feel completely drained. You can feel completely uninspired. The energy vampire moments in people. Because all of you right now who can talk about growth and talk about pleasure, what are those things, people, places, experiences that you feel completely drained after? If you're still writing, that's okay. But this moment right now, when you wrote those down or you thought of them, you know, you know who drains your energy. You know what drains, you know what places don't feel good. You know that icky feeling. That is radical responsibility. When you know and you choose and you're aware and you go, you know what? I'm and still be situations or around people that make me feel this way sometimes, yet I'm making a decision to create new boundaries. I'm going to be very aware of those moments, take note of them and start shifting how I go about them. And I realize that when I can create boundaries and lessen what those situations, it's giving me more power, more freedom and more space to do the things that bring me joy. We have choice in everything we do and a lot of the times when we do things that don't make us feel good, that drain us, it's out of guilt and shame. So I give you permission right now for the rest of this year to take close note of any of those situations, people, places, things that make you feel that way and release all guilt and shame towards saying no. Because saying no to good means you're saying yes to better. And it doesn't mean that you have to turn your back on people it just means you have to create new boundaries. That's radical responsibility. And that is what 2021, in my opinion, is gonna be all about. It's not waiting for the media or politicians or any of this to tell us what we can and can't do. It's about taking action in whatever situation and whatever is in front of us right now. Because at the end of the day, the things that matter is that you feel good about you, you feel peace and you feel aligned.
And if a day, a month, a year goes by and you realize, oh my goodness, all the things I wanted to do, it hasn't, I didn't do. And then you start blaming, you start pointing fingers. Well, that's not taking radical responsibility about your own life. So I have a few questions. You can either take a picture of this because I know maybe you want to think about them more, but a few questions to start asking yourself. And this came, this came from um, our mentor this weekend. I know some of us were on that training from GoPro and these questions really hit home for me. And so I, I invite you to either take a screenshot of this or just start thinking about it. Start asking yourself these questions. If I had unlimited time and resource and I knew I could not fail, what would I choose to do? Isn't that incredible? Isn't that an incredible question? Because the only limits in our future, the only limits in our goals and our dreams is the ones that we impose on ourselves. So what would you choose to do? It doesn't mean that you have to drop everything and start tomorrow, but it gives you a GPS. It gives you a plan of where to start. What I know for sure is, and you might look at that question and be like, I don't know what, what that means. Yes, you do. The first thing that comes up into your heart, into your mind, you already know the answers. What makes me happy is, What I believe to be true is, I feel proud of myself when. My natural talents and gifts are, and do not hold yourself back answering that question. You know that thing that comes so naturally that you do that people have been complimenting you on your entire life? It's a gift. You know those things that you do so easily that everyone wonders how you do it and you don't really have an answer because it's so natural to you? That's a gift. Do not limit yourself writing these out. Celebrate them. Put them out into the universe. Know what they are. That makes you amazing. You are divine. We are letting go of the shame and guilt and blame for not owning the best parts of who we are because the world needs you to step into it. What is most important to me? What goals would I like to achieve this year? And what would I like people to say about me on my 80th birthday? That I look 60. Yes, collagen elixir. <laughs> and these questions, right? Take time. You, you owe it to yourself to take time to answer them. That's radical responsibility. And another thing, after you have those answers, create a personal statement. Create a statement that describes who you are and write it out and post it in your mirror, in your bathroom, on your phone. It doesn't matter everywhere and read it to yourself every single day. Why? Because taking radical responsibility means motivating self, stepping into your power every single day so that you can achieve the things that you want to do regardless of what's going on around you. Say it out loud. Look at yourself in the mirror with conviction because you are so beautiful and worthy of it. Take that time. So this is an example of what it could look like. I am important and I have important work to do. I have the ability to choose. I choose to create energy, warmth, acceptance, productivity, and spread love. 
I am powerful beyond measure. I can create anything I set my mind on and I constantly tap into the divine power within me. I am on a mission. I fulfill my mission. I live my mission. I speak from my heart. I live from my values. My values are the basis for respect, decisions, and action. I seek to understand. I seek to learn. I seek to serve others. I learn from my mistakes. I always focus on being at a high frequency. I celebrate my micro successes. I always seek happiness and meaning in everything I do. And I challenge you to read that to yourself in the mirror with conviction and then not to be ready to freaking rock the day. And if something comes up in the day, release it. I saw a quote from Elon Musk and it says, you have eight, eight if you had a bank account and you had $18,000, there was other numbers, you had $18,000 and someone stole $10 of it, would you throw the rest of it out because $10 went missing? No. Well, we have 18,000 minutes in a day. If, some, if you have a few bad minutes, are you gonna throw away the rest? No. That's living in a state of being a victim. That's not taking respons radical responsibility. What do you have to do to shift out of that? And it's not easy all the time and we're not perfect and we're gonna make mistakes and we're gonna have days where we just wanna, you know, forget about the world and that's okay too. But it's important because what is coming is a completely different way of being. And that way of being is going to really honor those who step into their truth unapologetically and with conviction. And so all I, all I want to leave with is take the time to write out those questions and answer them for yourself without guilt and shame. Write down what it is that you really want. And then write out your goals, financial, personal, any spiritual. And if your goals don't make you want to be sick with excitement and nervousness and sweaty palms, and they're not big enough. That's one thing this weekend I called Christy on one of our trainings and they said, okay, now take that big goal and now double it. And I thought I was going to puke. Well, that's the goal. And my heart's pounding right now. So I'm going to turn it over to Laura for anything you want to add. And Christy, I saw your eyes light up. So if there's anything you want to add in there too, please do. So good. Uh, I don't really have much to add. You literally like just blew my mind with everything you shared tonight, but I just have so much belief in everybody that's here. And like, I love how you like so many nuggets you shared tonight were just like so key because like we, we have this mentality where it's like a new year, we think everything's going to change and be different yet. It's not just, we're not just going to wake up on January 1st and th things be different, right? It's not going back to the way that it was. It's never going back. And it's such a beautiful blessing. And like, we're transitioning into this new world where it's like, we're shifting from having the most valuable commodity from wealth to time. And what you do with that time is imperative. So I love how Jen said about setting boundaries and saying no, because really all life is, is removing the things that are draining our energy and allowing us to now have this void which that void can be scary because we don't know what it fills. So that unknown can be scary yet when we remove those things and we allow ourselves to sit in this void and just observe it. And we give ourselves the space to be in the present moment. We now get to see all of the other options in which we may want to fill this void with. And like Jen said, that's choice, right? So everything we do, we have so much choice. We feel like our freedoms have been taken away with COVID. It's like, no, you get to still do the majority of everything that you normally do yet you can't go out to big events. It's like literally like the stupidest example of this was like just like a little freedom and how like Jen was sharing about like guilt and shame about like different things. I really want to challenge you when you start feeling those feelings of guilt and shame, ask if whatever that belief was, that thought actually resonates with you and challenge whatever it was because chances are it was just some societal bullshit that like literally you've attached to yourself and you don't even recognize it's attached to you. But as soon as you realize it, you're going to be like, Hey, no, bye. Like, I don't want you anymore. I'm going to leave this void to bring in something new. Like I was, it was like 11 PM on Saturday night. And I, I like, was like, Oh, I'm kind of hungry. 
I opened up the fridge, nothing in there, but be a big surprise. I closed it up. I'm like, oh, well, it's 11 o'clock. I probably, probably don't need anything to eat just because my mom would always tell me that it's so late <laughs> and not to put my mom on the spot, but it's just one of those societal things, right? It's so late. You don't need to eat now all of these things. So I almost didn't do it. And then I'm like, whoa, I felt guilty for going in the fridge and like wanting food late at night. And then I'm like, wait a second, caught that thought. I'm like, I don't want that one. And then I asked myself a question in which I know we've talked about this on this call before. What do I want right now? Which is a key question that you can use any time of day. What do I want right now? And literally my inner being within a second said a chicken sandwich. And I was literally like, I guess I'm making chicken. So I took chicken out of the freezer, dethawed it, 11 p.m. at night, made myself this amazing like honey garlic chicken sandwich. It was the best chicken sandwich I've ever had. And like, I was like, you know what? Like if I didn't do that and I died tonight in my sleep, I would be so happy that I decided and chose myself and that I had that chicken sandwich and I freaking enjoyed every second of that chicken sandwich. And this is the tiniest little thing, right? But it's like, just like question all of your beliefs and all of your thoughts that you have and just like start replacing them with what do I want? Because we have so much choice in our everyday lives that we feel we don't have yet we have literally a billion different options. I haven't left my house in probably a week and I've done different things every single day. And I've noticed different things in here. Like I've literally been doing different things like all the time. Like when you actually start asking yourself, what do I want right now? It's going to change your life. So that's really all I have to share, but I'm so excited just to see like what all of us get to create from now till the end of the year and into next year. And I'm just so grateful for this community because we started together, we rise this year. And that was like a massive thing for both Jen and I, like Jen and I just met in May and we had like the exact same vision, the exact same like beliefs in what we were doing. And we, we talked about together, we rise for a little bit. And then like, we would like kind of put it on the back. Like we talked about doing something together, creating some sort of community together. And we'd put it on the back burner, we'd sit with it for a little bit more and then it would keep coming up. And then we'd put it off a little bit and then it kept coming up. We're like, okay, let's just do this. So then we created it. And like, I'm just so grateful to have like everybody here. And I know that this community is just going to keep growing and growing with the most epic, most amazing people. So I'm just super grateful to just follow everybody's journey and use this group. Like if you're having a bad day or you want like suggestions or anything like post in this group, like this group is yours. It's not mine and Jen's group. Like this is our group. So really like, just like post in this group as much as you want. If you find things that are really valuable to you, share it in this group. If you are struggling with something shared in this group, like there's no shame and guilt. Those are two emotions that I've decided I'm just going to become an observer to, and I'm not feeling them anymore. Just a thing that I've chose to do. <laughs> um, so whenever you're like feeling stuff like that, like post in this group and just like use it. But that's all I have to say. <laughs> All right. Well, if anyone has anything to add, we will open it up yet. Um, I want to add, we have, so everyone's talks talking about the new year, right? I mean, how many times are we like January 1st is going to be the day that I have resolution. So we decided screw that we're doing a jump start. We're doing an 11 day jump start challenge. Um, it starts December 27th and you are going to be led by the most epic group of leaders, trainers, holistic nutritionists, professionals, coaches who are all coming together so that we can get the jump start on the new year because we're not waiting anymore, right? We have choice. We're taking radical responsibility. So if you want to know more about that, I'm going to post the tile in Together We Rise and we will answer any questions, send you some information. Um, all we have to do is decide on what products that you need for yourself and your goals and everything to do with the challenge group and the workouts and everything is free. And if that doesn't resonate with you, but you are really wanting to join one of these epic communities, stay tuned because we have a five-star challenge that will be coming up mid-January. And if you haven't been part of the five-star family challenges before, well, buckle up my friends, because Christy Data is revving to go, which means that it's going to be beyond next level. So two coming up, the jump start if you want to get going before the new year, and then a five star challenge mid January. So we're doing that so that you get to choose what you want. And we don't have to wait anymore. Mm -hmm. And the best part is if you make a decision, and then you change your mind, that's okay, too. It's all good. 
So good. I love that. Oh, one other thing I will mention to you on Saturday, if anybody does want to join an event, Joe and I are hosting an incredible three hour workshop and I will post that together. We rise. I've been meaning to post that in there, but uh, another event for you guys to tap into to really like three hour workshop of like cultivating your vision and clarity moving forward. So there's so many cool things. Um, Anna did put in the comments that um, like, if we all have one word that is kind of our intention for 2021. So if you guys have a word that kind of comes to your mind as to what you want to do, like you can either just put it in the comments or unmute yourself. I love that, Anna. Yes, Jen, unapologetic. I love it. Oh, that was another big thing for me this year was just stepping into my authenticity and not giving an F what other people think. <laughs> Worthy, Amen. yes. I saw I saw that Christy was like smiling. Oh, yes, I love it. I'm going to share it with you guys because it was like on my heart and I did this and I was like, I need to share this with the world. So it's going to be quality. So like quality of like friendships, of like food that I do in my body, of like workouts, of like quality time with myself, like just I need quality. Like I am tired of buying like just a gap because it was $3, like it will break in three days. I'm not saying go and spend $300,000 in the most, if you want and have it, go for it. If you don't need it, don't, you know, but like just, not just wait till it's on sale. Like I'm, if I need it, I'm gonna get it. Like I, I'm just like one like good quality things in my life. And I'm like, this is what I need. And I just heard that and I was like, oh my God, I need to ask everyone like, I knew someone who was going to say amazing words like unapologetic, unapologetically. Yes, I got it. That's, I love that word too. So good. All right, you guys, let's rock and roll. Let's take radical responsibility and move that dial forward 1% more every single day. I love you all so much and we'll see you soon. Bye everybody. Love you.